The investigative report revealed that Lavoie Finnicum was shot three times in the back during the chaotic scene at a roadblock in Oregon on January 26th. An autopsy showed one of those bullets pierced his heart. A prosecutor ruled the fatal shooting was legally justified, citing state law which allows use of deadly force when officers believe a person is about to seriously injure or kill someone. Without a doubt that the Oregon State Police Troopers who shot Mr. Finnicum did so as they moved to protect themselves and their fellow officers from imminent harm. Lavoie's wife, now widow Jeanette Finnicum, responded to the report. He was walking with his hands in the air, a symbol of surrender. When he reached down to his left, he was reaching to the pain of having been shot. We have talked with an independent investigator who has stated that the video provides a setup assassination. During the initial roadblock, a cell phone video taken by Shauna Cox from inside that vehicle showed Lavoie refusing to get out, stating they were headed to see the sheriff. We're going to meet the sheriff. The sheriff is waiting for us. So you do as you damn well please. But I'm not going anywhere. Here I am, right there. Right there, put a bullet through it. Then, after speeding away and crashing into a snowbank, Lavoie got out with his hands up. The FBI reported he was reaching for a gun in his pocket. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down, stay down. Are they shooting him? During the investigation of the scene, major incident team investigators found a loaded 9mm handgun in the left-hand interior pocket of Mr. Finnicum's jacket. He lifts his hands. He looks down at his jacket and again reaches across his body with his right hand into his jacket towards the area where his gun was found. The Oregon State Police do not shoot. The investigation disclosed that a total of eight shots were fired at Lavoie. Only six were fired on command. Five unnamed agents, part of an elite national unit, are now under investigation for a potential cover-up on those two shots. The failure by HRT operators to disclose that they fired shots during this contact and actions they took after the shooting are the subject of an ongoing investigation by both the Deschutes County Sheriff's Office and the Inspector General of the United States Department of Justice. While she wasn't surprised at the outcome of the report, Jeanette Finnicum is still shocked by the injustice that she believes played out. This was not a typical traffic stop. It was an ambush involving a roadblock on a blind curve along a lonely stretch of highway, a dead man's blockade, a kill stop, which is illegal. Jeanette plans to comment more on the findings after reviewing them fully on Wednesday. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, KCSG News.